The dishonest media, which has published one false story after another, with no sources, even though they pretend they have them, they make them up in many cases. They just don't want to report the truth, and they've been calling us wrong now for two years. They don't get it. President Trump continuing his attack on the media at his campaign rally in Florida yesterday, slamming news outlets for negative reports about his first month in office. But Senator John McCain with a strong defense of the press in an interview this weekend. If you want to preserve democracy as we know it, you have to have a free and many times adversarial press. And uh, without it, I'm afraid that we would lose so much of our individual liberties over time. That's how dictators get started. Let's bring in now Guy Benson, a Fox News contributor and town hall political uh, editor, town hall. You know, Guy, I want to start with something uh, President Trump just said that most of the reporters are making up sources. I want to get your reaction to that. And then why? What's the president's strategy behind waging war against the media? Well, he's been waging war on the media all the way back to the primary campaign. The Republican base in particular cannot stand the mainstream media. They believe that the media has squandered their trust. And Trump is taking the fight to the press and continues to do so now as president. I think that he's probably gone too far. So, for example, this morning, I agree, Chris Wallace said that the latest attacks on the press, particularly that tweet calling the mainstream media the enemies of the people, that's a bridge too far. But overall, if you look at the, the, the sense in America of how much credibility the press has, it is in the toilet bowl. Donald Trump understands that. The president understands that. And he's hammering away because he thinks they're treating him unfairly. So, and I think it's pretty clear they have treated him in a much more hostile fashion than they did his predecessor. How does it serve the president? Does it serve the public? It does serve the president's political interest because he's rallying the base that agrees with him on the press. And I do think applying pressure to the media to get the story right is a good thing. Now, can you overstep and paint with too broad a brush and undermine and erode trust in an important institution? Yes, you can. But the press needs to look at themselves, ourselves, and figure out how is it that in a head-to-head -head poll, so this is interesting, in our own Fox News polling, Arthel, Yeah, because there was now a question, they've heard it over and over and over. Yes, the media right. sucks. They're bad. They're bad people. Sure. They lie. So, of course, the poll but, is going to say what they say, that more of them trust the president than they do the media. Well, not but necessarily, you answer, though. But you didn't answer the one question, Guy, which is, you know, the president is saying that the media, everybody, nobody wants to have, they don't have sources. They make up sources. Oh, I mean, no. I mean that, that's, of course, an overstatement, right? If, there are many very good reporters with good sources who report things that he doesn't like and he calls that fake news and that's not right. I think they have, by and large, the press, gotten a number of important stories wrong since the day he was inaugurated all the way up through this past week and the Associated Press and the immigration memo story, some key details there, just sort of the latest in a conga line of some of these mistakes. But I want to go back to that poll though because yes, Trump has been attacking the press for a long time, but the press has been coming after him as well. And the American people. I want to get back to that. Hold on, because I want to play Ryan's Pete Priebus, All and right. we'll pick up uh, on what you're talking about. This is Ryan's Priebus on Fox News Sunday. All I'm saying, though, is if you're going to come out with this, <clears throat> if you're going to come out with this story that says Russian spies are talking to your campaign, my God, I mean, you actually, I think you should, in some cases, or in most cases, actually have a name source. So, as you know, uh, Guy, the whole idea is that you don't share your so sources, you don't reveal your sources. Mm -hmm. However, getting back to what you were saying and, uh, you know, trying to see if you think Mr. Priebus has a point, you know, are the media doing their jobs or, or are they overly aggressively uh, aggressive and less forgiving when covering President Trump? I am fine with an aggressive press, and I agree with what Senator McCain said in that clip at the beginning of the segment. An adversarial, tough press is a good thing for a republic like ours, but it has to be consistent and fair to both sides, and I don't think the press has done that. And, you know, to Reince Priebus and, and the uh, statement that we just heard and that whole story about Russia, we had all this heat and light and, uh, you know, panic over the Russia story, and I think it's an important story. There should be an investigation. but. 
even if you go, you know, 11, 12 paragraphs down to the New York Times story and the CNN story, there was no actual meat to the story in the well, sense that I mean, there was I, no I don't, proof I don't, of collusion. I, I don't want to get into what a particular outlet did or not because it's well, not fair. On, but that, I'm just but, saying but, for no, our but sake, Arthur, can you have to. I know, but I don't want to get into. I don't want to bash CNN specifically or the New York I'm Times specifically because they're not here to 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 rebut, and so I don't want to do that. But I, I'm not bashing. I'm, yeah, but 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 here, you, I mean, you're, you're making some good points, and I want to keep going with this, and I, I want to move to this now through social media. You know, uh, guy, everyone and anyone can post information. It doesn't have to be vetted, um, but the collective is being called the media. How does this confound the problem? Well, of course it does, because you have anyone putting information out there. Some of it is genuinely fake news, if, if that's a term, uh, but some of it's real news. And I think what we've started to see, Arthel, is people simply dismissing stories or polls or reports that make them feel uncomfortable politically as fake. And I think a good role for real journalists is to try to separate, that should be the goal, to separate fact from fiction. And I think the problem is too many people in the press, and again, this is not a broad attack, but too often you've had reporters who I think instinctively don't like President Trump. They didn't vote for him. They don't support what he's doing. They are more willing to believe bad things about him and maybe cut some corners and rush to press or have a salacious headline that isn't necessarily backed up by solid sourcing or actual factual information, that's where you start getting the numbers for the press, like we saw, and where there's so much saying, distrust. Maybe what you're saying, Guy, and they're telling me we have to wrap, but what you're saying, I think, is that some of the adjectives that are being used, maybe just report the facts, get rid of some of the adjectives that paint a col you know, color of the picture, if you will, kind of just stick to the facts, and maybe that would be a better thing to, to your point. Yeah, and, and the last point I would make on that poll and the press and Trump head-to-head, -head, Donald Trump, in a whole swath of polling, has a very low trustworthy rating overall with the American people. And yet, in our Fox News poll, he is still more trusted than the media. That is time for a gut check if you're a member of the mainstream press. Okay, Guy Benson, we have to leave it there, and we'll talk to you again. Thank All right, you, thanks, Arthel. Yep, you bet.